Would you say that you identify as stupid thick? What does stupid thick mean? Like thick in the head? No, stupid thick is like, oh my gosh, she's stupid thick. Like stupid thick. I don't know that one. It's like, oh, like Jessica Rabbit. Stupid thick. I mean, I'd like to relate to Jessica Rabbit. I've been watching um, that movie with my daughters a lot lately, and she is hot. Stupid thick. She's stupid thick. Yes. So I read your book, Wildflower. You are such a vision. I mean, this is why you're perfect for the Miss Universe episode, because you sort of embody that American sweetheart. So how do I rebrand as not a scary black woman? <laughs> well, I, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't want you to change in any way, shape, or form. Wow, thank you. That's not exactly helpful, but I appreciate it. It isn't helpful. No. I feel like this is the color of friendship, that Disney movie about South Africa. Do you have any black friends at home, Mari? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. It's wild because you've, you have such a relatable and grounded personality. So do you think that you're appropriating average person culture? Oh, God. I would like to say that that I am, I'm so f***ing normal, and yet I'm so embarrassed and aware of how privileged I am. I feel like Josie Grossi, but am I appropriating normal people? I don't know, I just, like, my fabulous Hollywood family was dead and gone, mm. and like had sold everything off. Like, I don't even have a family heirloom. Mm. I don't have anything. Um, Same, but for different reasons. Poverty. My parents fled a war. I'm sorry. But it's weird because mm. I've lived a privileged and blessed life. Mm. I've also f***ed up a lot and I've seen a lot of shit, you know, and I've spent a lot of time traveling throughout the world and looking around and trying not to be some bougie, insular, coastal person. And I just wish that we could take care of each other in the best way possible. I'm convinced that's what we're here to do. I mean, what do you think? Like, I think that you just gave the perfect answer and somehow related to small town people while also centering yourself in your experiences. And I'm kind of annoyed for how Miss America perfect you are. So Charlie's Angels, are they pro cop? Um, well, they're detectives. So they are the police. You know, Charlie's Angels is what coined a thing called Jiggle TV. Um, back in the day. Does and anyone remember Jiggle TV? We're going to assume it was what you were doing when you walked out. We're going to cut back to that a lot. At the time, in 1999, my big battle was true female friendship and comedy and no guns. Mm. But at the time, it wasn't in the place in my life where I was like feminist, like you know, no touchy grabby, no jokes. Like I, I, I should go back and look at those movies with the eyes of today's culture. Who is a someone, a, a woman of color, like that you would consider a girl next door, a Miss America, Miss Universe? I mean, I, I love Tina Turner. What's your favorite Tina Turner song? I mean, ironically, it's the one with I. Oh my gosh, Aki. I'll stand up to the wedding bells. Wow. Um, she's so pissed right now. She's just like, why are you doing that to me? Next on Z-Way. I literally have like a white dog too, and I feel guilty. Would you like to apologize to your white dog? I'm sorry, Lucy. I, I should never have adopted you. She's really white. Cancel. You consume a lot of news. I'm a news junkie, mm. obsessed. What's your favorite black publication? Um, I really like what they're doing with Essence. They had a new editor come in. I would I love know. to see you on the cover of Essence magazine. I would love to be on the cover of Essence. I don't think I'm allowed on the cover of Essence. Like AARP, I'm not 50 yet. They won't let me do it. Fingers crossed. Well, I'll day. get there one day. I don't think I'm ever going to get to Essence status. With the right bronze or you never know. So you were emancipated at 14 years old. Where do you stand on the Emancipation Proclamation? Um, I am for freedom. Is that the right answer? You tell me, Drew. Here's a question. At age six, you got your first role in ET. Where do you stand on child labor laws? There's no room for child labor. I often 
uh, question whether they should even allow child actors. Wow. It's weird because I love my life and wouldn't change a thing. Yeah. But it is a very strange thing for kids. Mm. Um, I want my kids to know how to do laundry and summer intern and earn their money and do their chores and all that stuff. Yeah. And um, it's funny, I was traveling through Europe this summer and it was interesting to be away from home. You know what, Paw Patrol, with all due respect, and it's funny too because my libido's been dead for like almost a decade. Love to be compared or confused by to as Zendaya. I want a lot of like death and frying pans. But I was like, here I am, gynecological table, let's go. Gee willikers, we really learned a great lesson today. And then I walked into a museum in none other than a small town in Italy, and there was one of her pieces. Wow. Um, but wait, shit, what was the question? F I went so far off on my own tangent. 